so I went long oil at the regular session open at 9 a.m. on Eastern Time let's do a quick analysis this is the daily chart and you can see that for the day we are green so there must have been some type of news uh, out as to why prices are moving higher or the fact that prices have been oversold on the daily chart we have room all the way up to 71 before any real sellers come in or at least this dynamic resistance line kicks in now I wasn't going to take this trade because on the 8 hour chart we have this purple moving average serving as resistance um, so I may have to play this trade I might have to be quick on the trigger on the 4 hour chart we can see we have room right now up to uh, 69.64 alright so that's about uh, 60 ticks higher but again it's crucial that we get through on the 8 hour chart through this purple moving average now the good thing is that this is an 8 hour candle so the next 8 hour candle opens at um, in an hour so we have an hour to get through okay now ideally what I would have liked to have seen uh, price open lower to go higher ideally the uh, forward chart Yeah, I'm going to be quick to uh, pull this trigger. Now, the good thing on the hourly chart, we did get above the, well, not that we got above, but we did react to the white moving average. We closed, went down to go up. So, uh, on the hourly candle, we're looking good as we do have room this is overnight even though this is a, uh, an extended range candle this is overnight trading see the volume is low so I'm not really concerned yeah we need to get through this 8 hour similar moving average okay so this is good even though we opened higher to go lower again for the day we have momentum in our favor price on the 30 minute chart has been respecting this purple symbol moving average again we had a nice reaction to the blue symbol moving average where we reacted, closed below, or closed above, pull, went down to go higher. We're looking good. Uh, timing sales. Uh, I just want to see um, the ask price. Price on the ask just get higher. Again, we got to get through. Let's put a line here in the sand. We are right at that line. Let's make that purple. Don't have purple. <laughs> uh, here we go. All right, this is crucial. This is crucial right here. Can we close above? Now it's. 908 the 
Iowa like Canada was looking bullish. Just been a strong move since 4 a.m. It would be nice if we can, in the next minute, if we can close above this line here. All right, we're at about a one to one right now. I'm going to move my uh, stop to break even plus one just to pay for commission. Only reason why I'm doing this is, again, this price could turn around so initially when I got into the trade you know it I like to get into trades that were that are at least a three to one reward to risk ratio um, however when the nine o'clock candle opened which was uh, the regular start of the regular trading session uh, we went down to go up so that was bullish let's just see what the let's see what we got oil news Bargain hunters boost oil prices ahead of Fed meeting. Uh, this is 17 hours ago. Okay, let's just go back to that article. Crude oil prices climbed early on Tuesday morning after ending trade on Monday with yet another loss driven by demand concerns. As the latest Fed meeting b begins today, however, eyes will be on the U.S., with most analysts expecting to the central bank to announce a pause for rate hikes. This would have a positive effect on prices, although how durable that effect would be in the context of continued doubt about China's rate of economic recovery is anyone's guess. All right. So we had the CPI, U.S. CPI report come out, and that was... Uh, met expectations so CPI didn't go lower or higher um, many believe that the feds are going to pause tomorrow and so that would be uh, bullish for commodities um, oil is a commodity and trades inversely correlated to the US dollar so if we go to the US dollar on the chart um, we can see that we did have a uh, sell-off on the CPI report now pricing is prices are moving higher let's go back to the oil trade alright so we have what would be nice is this is the 910 candle would love to see a close above this line uh, we might get that Again, what I would have loved to have seen if price went down first to go up. In this case, price can go up to go down. The opening of the candle was key to how I trade. And it kind of dictates uh, the direction of that particular candle on that time frame. we go to the two-hour chart we do see some sellers here but again this is overnight not too concerned there uh, you can see how we're stalling at the 69.24 level if we can get through that it's really smooth sailing I think on the hourly on the daily chart I had mentioned uh, 71 So let's just put a line right there. That's the target ultimately, which it's uh would be about a dollar sixty higher. Alright, so this is bad. 
so we opened higher this candle should close red let's see and you see how we're not getting a close above the 69.24 candle Fifteen minute candle. If we're pulling back. It would have been nice if we can close above that. One of the reasons why I put my stop to break even plus one. We have twenty forty seconds. I think I'm going to bail on this trade. I think. Uh, I'm going to see how the 15 minute candle is going to open, which would be the next 5 minute candle on the 5 minute chart. Let's see what happens. So we dropped, we opened lower, which is good. Okay, I'm glad we're turning red first. Let's see if we can turn green. Fifteen minute chart, we're looking good. Hopefully we go from red to green and burst through this resistance area. We get to 6,900, I'm going to bail. Okay, I'm out. I'm out. Now the setup was not ideal, but I knew that ahead of time getting in before the trade. Again, we have this... Uh, purple moving average on the 8 hour chart which, which has been serving as resistance again we have another 40 minutes or so before we can potentially close above which would be bullish but um, I got out because of I got out because of that resistance could always get back in if price eventually moves higher as we approach 10 o'clock but at the moment um, okay so I just want to point something out this is uh, this wick here represents buyers on the five minute chart so price gap down pick up any unfilled buy orders now I always use the dollar as confluence the fact that the dollar is moving higher um, doesn't help oil prices so had the dollar been continuing to move down I would have stayed in this trade All right, that's it for today or this morning. I'm gonna look for other trades. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe, please like the video.